Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and today is the first Thursday in April. It's actually the first day of April, but a new month means a new featured stamp set. And this month, we are going to feature Shark Frenzy. Now, if you love this, this happens to be retiring at the beginning of May. So, um, get over to the Last Chance Products sale at um, angelstamps.net. Hit shop now, go to Last Chance Products sale, and you can get your hands on this and the dies, at least right now, until it's sold out. I love this stamp set because it has family names and you can make cards for your mom, for your dad, for your grandma, for your grandpa, for someone who just had a baby or is expecting a baby. This is an amazing stamp set for that. But I'm going to point you down and we're going to get started creating. All right, let me find where we are on the computer so I can see how you can see. All right, you can see right here which is perfect what we are doing I have just jade cardstock which is cut hot dog style which is four and a quarter by eleven so it's four and a quarter by eight and a half or by five and a half card base and we're gonna set that aside for now I've already cut a strip of the um, whale, whale done DSP. This is sold out. So any uh, pattern paper you can find that has underwater scenes would be perfect. And we're going to be using the Shark Frenzy stamp set and the shark family dies and also the stitch shape dies here in a minute but I'm gonna do some stamping okay we will be cutting out our mommy shark and so I am going to stamp her the outline on the white paper. This is Whisper White. Basic White is now a, what's available. And I'm going to stamp her in Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. We'll be cutting her out in a moment. All right. That wasn't dark enough. I should have used my stamp rat so I could just add more ink instead of stamping her again. But I'm stamping her again. And while we have the... It's a different stamp I'm going to use, so... We'll put that over here and grab Nope, it was that stamp I was gonna use. Going to stamp on some designer series paper 
and then cut it out and give her a fancy look. Not sure why that fin didn't quite stamp. There, that's better. And you'll see here in a minute what we're going to end up with. I'm also going to stamp her purse on this pattern paper. So when we stamp that out... When we cut it out, it kind of matches as well. All right. That's all I need on this paper until we cut it out. I'm going to add a little bit to the shark herself before we um, cut her out, but I'm going to do the glasses. Let me see where those are. Up here. Lashes I also wanted to use, but they seem to have up. Oh, they ran off, got off their paper into the box. Now her eyelashes I'm gonna want on this shark. So grab her eyelashes. Make sure I line it up correctly. This is why the stamparatus is best for this. So you know you put it exactly where you want it. And then... I'm going to close up my Duxedo Black ink. And stamp her necklace. With the gray granite. There are lots of little accessories that go with these sharks that you're, you can use or not use. It's all up to you. You definitely get to personalize your shark family. And I'm going to also add some lips on our mama shark. And blushing bright. Not gonna make her lips too dark. All right. Now it's time to pull up the cut in a boss machine and do some cutting with our shirts. Okay. 
cut out the shark in the purse using this. Helps when you line them up correctly. Okay. And then I'm going to put and send this through. Here's our purse and our pattern shark. And then we will get the other shark. And the Glasses sent through. And while we're doing this, we might as well send our stitched circle die there as well. Nope, it doesn't fit very well. So we'll do that in a minute. Alright. We have a shark and a our glasses. The glasses didn't stay where they belonged, so we'll have to stamp those again. I always have that struggle with the glasses. And then we're going to do our stitched shape circle. This away. Grab the shark die go on the ground before I lose it. And then we'll work on finishing our card and putting everything together. my little shark dies back in the envelope so I know that's where they are I still haven't found my happy or Easter dies so I'm going to take a second every time now and put my dies away before we get going finishing the card. Alright. Uh, 
I definitely want to do my glasses again in the black on my dye because it moved a little bit when I was cutting them out. Line that up. There it is. Okay, and on my scrap of white over here. I definitely want to stamp Mommy Shark. Gonna stamp it in the just jade, and in a minute we will be punching it out with a punch. Before we do that. Let's grab our mommy shark pieces over here. And the scissors. And we will be fussy cutting out part of Mommy Shark. So we don't want her underbelly or mouth to be this lovely, playful pattern paper color. This is what we want for Mommy Shark. And I didn't cut off this fin, but I can certainly do that. So we get this fin colored as well. this paper over and we're going to glue on mommy sharks decorative skin
pajamas on the side. We just put pajamas on mommy's shirt. But that's not what I would call them. And we'll put her glasses up here on her nose. All the mommies in my family wear glasses. And she has a purse that matches her outfit. We have Mommy Shark. Let me grab a couple of the punches and see if either one of these is going to work. This is the Timeless Label Punch and it is also retiring soon. But it's Perfect for that right there. I pulled out the classic label punch just because I didn't know if it would fit. Let's look. Oh, it would have. going to do some thinking about this. My thinking is that I want it in two different labels to be able to Put it in two different positions. So there we have Mommy Shark. Classic label punch is also retiring in about a month. Okay, now we start putting it all together and we will stamp on the inside. We are stamping, I love you. And we're also stamping it in just jade. realized I forgot to get out the paper I want to put on the inside of that card. So I'm getting it right now.
This is also from the um, Well Done Designer Series paper that is retired. So again, whatever you have that's under the sea. Just putting some seaweed on it. I hope you can still see me. You have disappeared from my computer, but I can tell my camera is still going. So. All right. And then I'm going to take my Just Jade paper and we're going to glue the inside of the card. Just right in there. And then work on the outside. We're going to put the water that the way it's set up with the spotlight sunshine shining through there, it almost looks like a stage. And so we have a stage set up for our beautiful mommy shark. I think we're going to glue her directly to our circle. And we're going to pop this circle up with some dimensionals. Don't forget to use the edges of your dimensionals. And we're going to put her right about there. And then use some of the mini dimensionals to pop up the two as our big dimensionals. Where are my minis? Here they are. To pop up the two sentiment labels, we are introducing Mommy Shark. Not sure what her talent is. Maybe it's singing. Maybe it's um, hunting. Who knows? Let's see where I want these before I take the backings of them. And you could, of course, do this to feature any of the sharks. Daddy, Grandma, Grandpa, Baby, whatever it is you want to do. But there we have, get that little backing off, Mommy Shark. And you open it up, and it says, I love you. This is perfect for anything for your mom, for Mother's Day, for her birthday, for just because. There it is. And I will see you back here 
next Tuesday for another card with the Shark Family Shark Frenzy stamp set. Bye.